Hi guys, my name is Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my November TBR, which also happens to be a five-star predictions video. So I had a really fun October. I really enjoyed the TBR that I curated for myself, and I thought I would combine the two to hopefully, hopefully, lead to a really fun, um, enjoyable November because November in retail is like when Christmas hits hard. Let's get into the five-star predictions. This is pretty fantasy heavy. Uh, I'm gonna start with Sabriel by Garth Nix. So this is a book that I've heard a lot of people talk about. Specifically the one that stands out at the moment is Sana from Books and Quills. I don't know really anything about it other than that it is a YA fantasy novel. I did basically buy the book knowing very little about it uh, on Sana's recommendation and then my mom read it and she had me buy the whole series so she could read the whole series. Like, she got sucked in. Just hearing that it is a very fun, engaging series, I do want to read this this November. Dark Secrets, Deep Love, and Dangerous Magic. Sabriel has had little experience with the random power of free magic or the dead who refuse to stay dead in the Old Kingdom. During her final semester, her father, the Aborson, goes missing, and Sabriel knows she must enter the Old Kingdom to find him. She soon finds companions in Mogat the Cat, whose aloof manner barely conceals its malevolent spirit, and Touchstone, a young charter mage, long imprisoned by magic and now free in body but still trapped by painful memories. As the three travel deep into the Old Kingdom, threats mount on all sides, and every step brings them closer to a battle that will pit them against the true forces of life and death. That sounds very fun. The next book I have is a chunker, but my mom is reading it right now and she is really bad with spoilers. So I gotta read it before she spoils it for me. And that is Arcadia by Ian Pierce. So this is something that I heard Jen Campbell talk about on her channel and again, picked it up on her recommendation during my master's thesis and then obviously did not have time to read it because it is huge. My understanding is that this is a book that plays with fantasy literature tropes which is right up my alley. It's a, quote, captivating adventure story with huge heart and dazzling imaginative power. It's a wonderful new novel. So I'm excited for something that plays with fantasy. I love fantasy novels. I love fantasy that gets uh, meta about the genre. So very excited for this. And I have to read it before my mom does because spoilers. The next book I have here is Women Talking, a novel by Miriam Taves. Now, I purchased this and I did share it in a uh, haul. I don't do hauls very often, but I did share it when I bought it because I was so excited about this book. So this is based on a true story. There is a Mennonite colony in Bolivia and between 2005 and 2009, women were waking up feeling like sore and icky and then it turns out that they had been drugged and raped by the men in their community and this is a fictionalized exploration of that. Uh, Miriam Taves is a Mennonite and a lot of her works focus on um, the Mennonite community and trauma and I'm excited for this. It's gonna be dark, hence the rest of the TBR being quite uh, light and fantasy, but I'm very excited to get to this. The next book I have here is sort of kicking off my fantasy thing from Gossip from the Forest by Sarah Maitland. So that inspired a whole interest, a whole re-interest in fantasy literature. And so one of the novels that kept getting recommended to me by Amazon of all things, because Amazon is where I keep my wish list. I just like the Amazon wish list formula. I guess based on other things that I have purchased, Amazon was like, you should read this thing. And that is Sisters of the Winter Wood by Rena Rosner. Again, I don't know much about it, but because of what it sort of piggybacked off of, which is my interest in Naomi Novik. I was very interested in this, and so I will share the blurb with you. In a remote village surrounded by vast forests on the border of Moldova and Ukraine, sisters Liba and Leia have been raised on the honeyed scent of their mommy's babka and the low rumble of their tati's prayers. But when a troop of mysterious men arrives, Leia falls under their spell despite her mother's warning to be wary of strangers. And this is not the only danger lurking in the woods. As dark forces close in on their village, Libba and Leia discover a family secret passed down through generations. Faced with magical heritage they never knew existed, the sisters realize the old fairy tales are true. 
and could save them. And it mixes fairy tale poetry, history, and heart to create an enchanting and mesmerizing tale of sisterly love. If you've been on this channel a while, you know that sisters and family relationships are one of my kicks that I go on. Like, it's an automatic uh, check on a checklist of things that make a great book. I love books about family secrets and sister relationships. I love The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. I love Falling Angels by Barbara Gowdy. So uh, combining like the fantasy fairy tale vibes with the sister relationships ticks a couple of my boxes, so I'm very excited for this. Sorry if anything changed there, my battery died and I think I've moved the tripod. Anyways, the last of my five star predictions on my October TBR is... <sighs> The Shades of Magic series by Victoria Schwab. Specifically, I want to read A Darker Shade of Magic. I don't think I'm gonna get to all three. A Darker Shade of Magic has been on my TBR for a long time. Um, I think specifically it is Reagan that sort of inspired my interest, but also human that I know in real life and follow on Instagram, Six Blue Marbles, has raved about this series, loves Victoria Schwab, and seeing her post about it on her Instagram all the time really motivated me to pick these up and so I would really like to get to A Darker Shade of Magic. Again, fantasy novels. I have already read one of Victoria Schwab's novels, City of Ghosts, and I loved it and I loved her writing so I really want to just delve into more of her works. The last books here I have are on my TBR but I don't anticipate them being five star reads and so I'm just going to talk about them quickly. So this is springing off the interest in fairy tales. I have Ash by Melinda Lowe, a queer Cinderella retelling. I have Cinder by Marissa Meyer, a sci-fi steampunk Cinderella retelling. I have Fierce Fairy Tales, a poetry short story collection by Nikita Gill. I think this will just be an interesting format. I have the original works by the Brothers Grimm, which I think will be fun to get to just slowly. I don't really want to binge the whole thing, but I think slowly going to the original tales will be fun, and I love Jack Zipes as a scholar, so I'm hoping that um, some of the work that he's done contextualizing these will be helpful. And the last book I have here is part of my 2018 goals, and that is to learn more about Russian fairy tales after reading Catherine Arden's The Bear and the Nightingale series and Naomi Novik as well. They're just slightly different, more northern fairy tales. So I want to explore Russian fairy tales, and then it was also recommended that I maybe explore Norse mythology as well and seeing if there's a bit of an overlap there in folk and fairy stories. But I do have Russian Tales by uh, Alexander Afanasev. Butchered that for you. You're welcome. Translated by Norbert Gutterman and illustrated by Alexander Alexeev. I'm excited about folk tales from like a slightly different area of the world. There is a whole series in these beautiful editions from all over the world. Uh, I will link that down below if you are interested because this series is actually really cool. The Pantheon Fairy Tale and Folklore Library. And one day I would like to read through many, many more of them, if not all of them. Don't know if these will be five star reads, but they're there. I want to read them in November while I'm on this fairy tale kick. That is my November TBR and five star prediction sort of folded into one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you've read any of these books, if you like any of these books, I would love to hear from you. If you liked what you saw here today, give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing, that would be really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!